New year, new goals. As you know, I have some big goals, like a big, big goal. A million people that I gotta reach in my career and in my life, and that's what the point of this video is today, is to help you figure out what your goals are. And so there's three phases that I wanna walk you guys through today in terms of goal settings, how you can set your goals and actually attain those goals. And even if you get close, like I did this year, you can still walk away feeling really, really accomplished. So there are three phases to goals that I wanna to talk to you about, and the first is reflecting. This last week, I was stuck in the snow for six days in Reno. We went up to Reno as a family. We were planning on just spending Thursday and Friday night and then driving back home Saturday morning on Christmas morning. And we ended up getting stuck in the snow in a massive snowstorm, the biggest one they'd had in 50 years. And that gave me a lot of time with family, which is obviously very important, but it also gave me some time to reflect and get clarity personally and professionally. So I want you to ask yourself these questions when it comes time to reflect on your goals that you're gonna set for this year and what you did in your previous years. Which goals did you actually hit? If you set goals last year and you hit them, write those down. What were the goals that you hit and why did you hit those? What was responsible? What was the action or the people or the resources that you had to put towards those goals to be able to reach those things? This is really important to document everything that you did in 2021 in order to have the same success, if not more, in 2022. The next question you wanna ask yourself is which goals did you miss? Write these down, make sure you got the pen and paper. What goals did you miss? There were goals that you wanted to hit and you hit and there was goals that you wanted to hit that you missed. Write those down and also why did you miss those goals? What was it? Was it a lack of money? Was it a lack of time? Was it a lack of resources? Was it a lack of network or a team? Write that down and you've gotta be really honest in yourself when it comes to reflecting Take the time, don't feel rushed, turn off your phone, get rid of all the distractions, and make sure that you're focused. This is your time to really focus on yourself personally and professionally in these areas, but I really wanna make sure that you write them down because without that, you're gonna really struggle to be able to get breakthrough in this next year going forward. The next thing I want you to think about when you're going into these goals and in your reflection period is what did you love about this year? What was something that you just walked away with that was just Phenomenal, it was a win of yours. They call it roses and their, your losses are, or misses or thorns, but what was your rose? What was the biggest thing from the year that you got to take, take away that you really loved? I know a lot of people were still stuck at home. A lot of people didn't get to go out and, and do what they wanted to do because of traveling restrictions and all this crazy stuff, but let's try to find some of the positive things. What was it about 2021 that you really loved? The next question is goes right with that, is what were some of the things that you would change about this coming year? Well, if you could change, if you can go back and change 2021, what would you change? This is an important piece. What do you love and what would you change? What would you do differently? Would you have spent more time on sales? Would you have spent more time creating? Would you have spent more time learning? Would you have spent more time around people? I really want you to be honest with yourself, put that down on paper. And the last thing, and this is extremely important when it comes to reflecting, is what did you learn? This is gonna be where the accountability really comes up for yourself that you're gonna be able to hold yourself accountable because if you did not learn some big things and you did not sharpen your ax and sharpen your skills in 2021, this is gonna identify that for you. You need to understand that learning is an essential part of your growth journey of becoming a business owner, becoming a creative, becoming an entrepreneur, or even elevating within your position in your career. And so this is something you really need to take into consideration. If you're not growing, you're dying, as many personal development coaches were saying, and it's true. You need to focus on increasing your skill set in every different area of your business or every different area of your career and your job to make sure that you can con continue to become better and better and better. So once you've taken the time, whether it's a day, a week, to really reflect, and there's no pressure, just because it's the beginning of the year doesn't mean you have to do some sort of sprint. Take your time to really reflect on these things and get clarity and give yourself time to be honest with yourself and we'll step away from it and come back and get that objectivity and discuss it with people in your network. This is a really big deal that I'm gonna talk about here in a minute, but reflecting is the foundational piece of what you need to be thinking about when it comes to setting your goals, understanding where you've been. It's gonna help you define where you're gonna go next. Now, the second phase to this is the goal setting. And you can't have successful goal setting if you don't have SMART goals. And what I mean by SMART is it's the acronym, which stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-bound. These are the five key principles you need to be thinking about, writing down, and really analyzing when it comes to setting your goals. And I'm gonna go through these real quick for you, and I actually have another video we'll link up above that you can watch specifically about SMART goals. The first one being specific. 
We wanna have 50,000 subscribers on this channel. I can't get that without asking people like you to go share these videos, to go subscribe and actually help me participate in that by making those asks, right? That's a specific goal. And I have to 5X my channel from where it's at now. Not quite, but almost 5X. A measurable goal is, okay, how many subscribers do I need to get on a monthly basis and to enable to reach that 50,000, okay? Now that we have the measurable, now we have the attainable. Is 50,000 realistic? You'll notice how I didn't say 150,000 or 500,000, right? I said something that was actually attainable for us based on the traction and what we've done so far. And then the relevant part. Is that goal relevant to what we're trying to accomplish in our business, in our life, in my, in my YouTube channel? Is that a specific goal that actually helps us? Yes, it does. By getting more subscribers, we're gonna be able to reach more people or our community is gonna grow, right? And then making sure that that is time bound. You'll notice how I said 50,000 by the end of the year, that is time bound. But I need to have checks and systems and checks and balances in place along the way. I can't just get all the way till the end of the year. I need to be tracking these things throughout this time. Now, the next piece for me, and this is really important for you as well, is I separate my professional life from my business life. A lot of people mesh those into one because they're just workaholics and all they can focus on are work and they don't have time for a personal life. I want to build my business around my life, my personal life. I want the business to be able to give me the resources, the time, the fun, the travel, all the things that I want out of life without having to sacrifice all those things. If I can't, if I feel like I just have another job, I might as well just get a nine to five, right? So I wanna take control of my future and I can do that by really analyzing what my goals are personally and professionally. On a personal level, I need to track and think about these three dimensions of me as a human being, my health, my wealth, and my relationships. This is what makes me a three-dimensional businessman, a three-dimensional person, and this is what gives me the most success in my life is having these three pillars. Now, inside of my health, I need to be thinking about, well, what kind of weight do I wanna be at? What kind of body fat do I wanna be at? How healthy do I wanna be? What about my mental health? Am I going to a counselor, right? These are all important questions to ask inside your health. In your relationships, should I go to marriage counseling? Should I do some couples retreats? Should I take my wife on another uh, honeymoon, do I wanna travel this year alone or with her or together or as a family? Like understanding all these areas of my personal life are really important and what goals I have inside of that. Because if you don't have goals to achieve in your personal life and they're only business goals, you're gonna live a really just poor and boring and uneventful life and you're gonna feel like a slave. And I've been there and I've done that. And this is something that I've really leveled up in the last few years and something I wanna teach you guys to level up with as well. It's important in your personal life that you have fun, that you draw. If you like to draw and you're an artist like me, that you take the time to draw, that you take the time to read, that you take the time to go to shows and concerts and movies or even video game. I'm not a big video gaming guy. That's just never been my thing because I'm always trying to focus on being productive, but it's important to disconnect. Sometimes I'll play Legos with my kids. Those fun things that are bonding moments with my children, that are bonding moments and help fill me back up are really important for when you go out and serve your clients and serve the business world and the business marketplace. Something to think and take into consideration is your personal life is a very big part of your business life. And they say that 90% of your business problems are actually personal problems. So it's time for you to take a deeper look into your personal life and look at some of these things and start setting some really great smart goals. The last piece to goal setting is, of course, is the business goals. You really need to have some seriously specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound business goals. If you want to level up, this is the way to do it. I asked you before, what were the skills that you learned in 2021 and what are areas that you need to actually increase in this coming year for 2022 to hit some of the goals that you may have missed? Well, these skills are very important for you to go out and learn. So you need to write down what your goals are for skills you want to learn. If you want to get into NFTs, then write that down learn how to actually launch your own NFT project. If you wanna sell stock images and stock vector graphics, well, then you're gonna to need to learn how to do that. That's gonna be a skill that you have to do. If you wanna learn how to build your own funnel for your graphic design business, that's another skill you're gonna to have to learn. I'm doing a training on that, so these videos are gonna help you achieve certain skills like that. The next thing to put down as a goal is your revenue. What kind of money do you wanna make? inside your company and personally, because I do believe as a professional, as an entrepreneur, and as a business owner, you need to start figuring out how to separate your business income from your personal income. This was a big shift I had in 2018 that made a big impact on my career. I went from struggling and just trying to pay myself the scraps from whatever the business had to giving myself a specific salary that allowed me to have consistency in my life and allowed me to do things like buying a bicycle and getting a gym membership and traveling more. This was 
something that really set me free and something that I want you to have as well. So you need to think about what kind of revenue do you need to make as a company and what kind of revenue do you need to make as the individual? Once you've done that, the next piece is understanding the resources and the people that you need to have around you. Who are those people in your life that you want to have? If it's just you right now and you're working solo by yourself and you feel lonely and you just want somebody to work with and you want a team, you can join our community. That's what the Instagraphics Pro Network is for. Maybe your goal is to join a community. Maybe your goal is to join the AIGA, but you just can't afford it yet. Maybe your goal is to join any type of organization, or maybe you love working solo and you just wanna travel the world and you're not interested in working on a team, but understanding what kind of team and what kind of people that you want around you, maybe you wanna build a gigantic organization where you have thousands of employees. And if that's the case, that's a goal that you need to write down how many by the end of the year and the five years. I wouldn't go more than five years out because life is what's happening to you while you're making other plans. So it's really important to make sure that you don't go too far out. I would keep your goals within 90 days, six months, one year, and at the very most, five years. The last goal that you should be writing down is education. Again, we talked about your skill sets, but you also need to focus on your education. I'm constantly focusing on education, whether it's in mastermind groups, in courses, in trainings, in conferences and events, uh, in webinars. I'm always trying to seek information and knowledge and, and educate myself, whether it's in something that's gonna apply directly to my business or it's gonna apply to my personal life. I'm always trying to educate myself on a daily basis. The third phase is accountability. And the first step to getting that accountability is actually having an environment that's gonna hold you accountable, leveling up your environment. If you're a solo person working by yourself and you'll have anybody in your corner, this is something that you need to change. You need to get yourself into a community of other creatives, other designers, other professionals, they're gonna hold you accountable. Like the Instagraphics Pro Group, like the Inner Triangle. There's lots of them out there. There's lots of organizations you can plug, in, plug into even locally on meetup.com in networking groups and chambers of commerce. You need to change your environment and put yourself maybe even into a co-working space. But you seriously need to consider changing your environment when it comes to getting that accountability because that's going to help you level up the men that i have in my life inside of my bdb elite group have held me accountable to the degree where i'm taking cold showers that literally make me want to like just run away from the shower now but it's so important to level up my health and i want to live longer i want to see my daughter grow up and so i'm being held accountable by these men and they're setting the example by doing it themselves they're not just telling me to do it but they're actually walking it out themselves and so i want to be able to be accountable and show up for that people and that environment is super huge for your growth and it's super huge for my growth a big part of actually getting that accountability is sharing so you need to share so this is the second point you need to share your goals not just with your community on the professional side, but in your personal life, your wife, your girlfriend, your friends, trust me, you're gonna get some pushback, you're gonna get some uh, negativity, that's just part of it, but you need to be able to put that out there to two or three people that you trust, that understand where you're coming from, that know how important your career and your passion for design or for whatever it is that you're doing is, and so you need to make sure that you share that with them and you ask them, hey, please hold me accountable, including asking them to put it as a calendar invite in their phone. I did that for my buddy Cody. He wanted to hit $10,000 a month. And just before the end of the year, I sent him a message and said, hey, I got this reminder that just came up. That's what accountability is about and checking in with that person to get them accountability. And I want you to give this to other people as well. I want you to give the same accountability to others that you're gonna ask for these people from yourself. So whether it's your friends, your family, your coworkers, whoever that is, you need to understand that accountability and sharing that with people is the best way that you can get that after you change your environment. And the last piece is for yourself and that's to track your results. So if my goal is 50,000, I need to break that 50,000 across the next 11 months, divide that down and month by month, I need to be tracking where I'm at. Am I behind? Am I above? What did I do that worked? What did I do that didn't work, right? Where are my goals at? How close are we to our revenue? We're at the halfway mark for the year and I wanted to do 2 million. Have we hit a million yet, right? Tracking your results daily is extremely important because these small wins every single day are what's gonna add up to that big goal being achieved at the end of the year. You have to have healthy daily habits. And so I'm gonna create another video for you guys, just making an announcement about this now that shows you guys how to have a daily power hour, an hour that you spend to yourself, whether it's a half an hour in the morning and a half an hour at night, or just an hour in the morning or an hour at night, you need to have an hour every single morning that is tied into what those goals are that we're setting for 2022. 
So this is a lot of information. I hope you were writing it all down. If not, you might want to go back and rewatch this video again because this video is going to help set you up for 20 to 2022 with some major success. And that's what I want for you. So I want to know down below, here's your accountability moment. What is your goal for 2022 personally, your number one goal? And what is your number one goal professionally? Write those down in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell and as always, keep looking up.